Sometimes you hear a contractor refer to adjustable jacks as temporary supports. In other times, a contractor will recommend them as a permanent solution. Stay tuned to find out if floor jacks should be temporary or permanent. Hi, I'm Nolan Beery and I'm the Director of Sales Development at AccuLevel. Floor jacks are used in crawl space and basements. They can help repair your foundation. In this video, I'll explain whether floor jacks in your home will be temporary, permanent, and if you'll need just one. Before we go further, please give us a thumbs up and ring that bell. Let's get started. So floor jacks are gonna be mainly temporary and by manufacturer specifications, only when you're replacing your foundation. So jacks are temporary when they're a foundation replacement. So if you're replacing a basement wall, replacing your crawl space footing, or even raising your home with a new footing, those jacks that hold your home in place till that work is done are temporary. Floor jacks are used as permanent supports when they're additional supports. So such as a beam running down your floor joists to help take a sag out, or even to help shore up your main beam is a, t is a permanent solution. This is permanent because this is all supplemental support. We just talked about your foundation being the main support and the permanent support because that's where the majority of all your loads land. The main beam and your extra supports throughout the home are more supplemental supports. They're there to hold the floors in place. They're not there to hold your entire home up. And so they can be used as permanent solutions when they're additional supports. About the only time one floor jack is the right solution is maybe there's one support that's gone bad along your main beam. That's pretty much the only time when one floor jack can be enough. If it's a floor joist that's down, you don't wanna just put one floor jack on that floor joist. And the reason is, is because the height versus the width of the floor joist. Typically, floor joists are two by eight, two by 10, even two by 12. So they're about an inch and a half wide and they range from five to 10 inches tall. If you put just one jack underneath that floor joist with it carrying a load enough to cause it to sag, that floor joist will break or even twist. And so you wanna make sure that you run a support beam with at least two support jacks for those types of situations. To schedule an appointment with one of our project advisors, give us a call or go to our homepage, acculevel.com and click the book a consultation button. Fill out the form and we'll contact you within the next business day. Do you have questions about floor jacks in your home? If so, please leave them in the comments below. Check out the description for more videos and blog articles on crawl space and foundation repair. Don't forget to give us a thumbs up and ring that bell. We would greatly appreciate it. Thank you so much for watching.